Good morning everyone, you're in here with another pre launch session video. Today is Thursday already, on the 11th of November. The time of this recording is 10 minutes before 7 a.m. UK time. Um, but I, as always, I would like to highlight that this is not financial advice and this is just the way that I see the market and that I would like to share with all of you. I'm quickly um, I'm going to show you guys what happened yesterday in uh, on the DXY on dollar. And I mentioned earlier in the week that I was looking for this high to be taken out, and this is exactly what happened yesterday. Um, but if you go now to the one hour, if you go now to the one hour, if you go to the one hour, and we were trading around them the, the time of the recording, we were trading here, and I said, look, this this week is very important for me, or even this whole. Um, bearish order block on the 50 minutes it's more clear it's more clear on the 50 minutes and I mentioned that if we manage to break then we are bullish then we are bullish I mentioned that specifically but I need to I need to say uh, once I saw a break I was bullish yeah I was bullish but then I saw this spike here and there was a news release I saw this spike right into the imbalance area here so that's why i was mindful that we could see maybe a sell-off even though i knew that this candle could be a mitigation candle i was maybe anticipating a sell-off because my eyes were really focused on this area yeah and in the end at the 93.616 level um, previous um several several times i have been mentioning these these levels yeah look what happened and we reacted strongly from the imbalance area we trade back into the mitigation area, and so we mitigated this candle quickly. Re um, so yeah, what is a mitigation candle? If you, if we see that a bearish order block, for example, has not been respected, and we trade through bearish order block, then the price will always come back to mitigate, and instead of selling off, we will go higher. Exactly what happened yesterday. I was just mindful because of the fact that during the news release that we spiked into this imbalance area, but the mitigation played out, and we traded higher. Now, going forward, um, as we cleared now the previous high liquidity, um, and that was, I think, let's see, the liquidity that was there since, yeah, look, the 25th of September uh, 2020. So, we've never been trading as high in the last, in the last year, so I do believe now that we will see some, some, some relief. I do believe that we will see some relief, so I'm bearish dollar. I'm bearish dollar. Just for the fact that, first of all, we cleared the liquidity above um, the liquidity of the 25th of September last year, but also we do have here this imbalance area. So I do believe DXY can trade lower. Now it will be a bit tricky, like um, when are we going to enter? What I don't really like is the high that has been created during um, Asia. So ideally, I will feel a lot more comfortable selling dollar once we maybe break one more time above this level while the Asian high and then trade lower if we can do that I will be very happy to sell dollar otherwise it, I will be I will be more mindful and maybe we can see this one as a bearish uh, as a bullish uh, bearish order block last bull before the sell but then I need to see a clear uh, break of structure of this low uh, trading lower and then I will look for a re-entry but ideally in an ideal scenario we will break this high okay to then trade lower first targets are this area this imbalance area i will mark up the 50 percent as always from week to week imbalance area this is this will be my first target overall we i'm still targeting this equal lows and the order block that was now we can find over here that's for the dollar let's go to euro usd let's go to euro usd a very bearish euro a very bearish euro and yeah, I mean, we, we, it, it's very clear, I think, right? It's very clear that we have the liquidity that's sitting up here. So after clearing the, this low last uh, yesterday, after clearing this low, I do expect some form of pullback. Yeah. Same with DXY. I don't really like the fact that we made this move uh, last night. So I'm bullish, but in an ideal scenario, I would like to see maybe one more spike down to then trade higher first area first area will be this imbalance area over here this will be my first target this will be my first target so the idea looks something like this okay this is for euro usd quickly gbp usd gbp usd uh, exactly the same 
exactly the same. Yesterday I wanted to long Euro USD um, just for the fact that I thought that dollar might go lower um, because we were trading in that imbalance area after the new spike, but we clearly traded lower. Um, we traded lower, so yeah, now I'm, I'm looking for... Yeah, we, we, we can see it now already and during Asian exactly the same, how we created low and now we are already trading higher. Ideally we will trade below, but I do believe, especially on, on GBPUZ, that we won't trade below this. And then I, I will be mindful of this area. I'm mindful of this area now. I'm mindful of this area. Um, this is my may, this might be a bullish order block. This might be a bullish order block. So once we manage to maybe trade into this order block, then I will look to buy maybe into this candle. Um, but yeah, look, liquidity is clear liquidity over here. Um, we do have clear liquidity. This candle as well, a uh, single high. So I do believe that we will see some higher prices on GBP USD, but as well in an ideal scenario, we will break one more time lower and then go higher, or we can play out of this bullish order block. So as well for GBP USD, I'm very bullish, um, just for the fact that after the XY cleared the high that was created on the 25th of September uh, last year, uh, which happened here, I really do believe now that we can see some uh, bearish relief okay good guys this was it for me hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions please reach out to me in the, in the discord and yeah hope you enjoy uh, your day oh very very important to, 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 to notice maybe today is the 11th of november and several european countries um make a bank holiday out of this day so um, but I don't think that it will affect uh, the FX market uh, that much. I really don't believe that we will see some some decent price action today. Okay, have a good uh, have a good rest of your day, guys. Uh, wherever you are, enjoy your day. Have a good one. Bye bye.